In this video today, I'm going to showcase the best game user settings that you should be using in Fortnite Chapter 4, so you get the highest FPS possible and the lowest amount of input delay. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and optimize the Epic Games Launcher. You want to go over to your desktop firstly and open up the Epic Games Launcher. Then once it's opened up, you want to go to the top right hand side where your profile is. Click on your profile, there's mine right there. You then want to go into the settings section and inside of the settings section you want to go ahead and copy what I've got. So you want to turn off all these settings right here, that's enable offline mode browsing, minimize system tray. You can have this option on or off, it's up to you, run when the computer starts. I myself, I like to have it on in case there's like an update. Um, enable debug login, that needs to be turned off. Hide game library, that needs to be turned off. Allow installs, that needs to be turned off. Enable cloud saves, this is personal preference. I myself like to have it on. Throttle downloads, that wants to be off. Use proxy, that wants to be off as well, that's very important. Desktop notifications, another important setting. These two both need to be off because if any free games pop up, like you get the notification on the Epic Games launcher, this can give you a lag spike in game. So make sure both of these are turned off. And then moving down here, these are personal preference. Um, allow auto updates, I myself like to have it on but you definitely want to have allow installs during gameplay turned off as this will give you higher ping so make sure that's off. Moving on into the Fortnite section, if you give that a click it should open up some drop downs. You can have auto update on or off, it's up to you. You want to have additional command line arguments checked and you want to put in these commands right here. One is dash lamp play, what this will do is actually lower your ping, that is very important. No splash, what this will do is it will make that splash screen disappear so your game actually loads up faster. And then finally you've got use all available cores and what this does is it forces all the available cores on your CPU to run in the game so you will get more FPS. I'll put these in the description below so you can simply copy and paste them inside. After making those optimizations right there you can go ahead and close down the Epic Games launcher. Next we're going to go ahead and reset the Fortnite config file as what we set in the Fortnite config file will do is give us all the brand new settings that we can then optimize. So to do this you want to go over to your desktop and press the following keys at the same time that's Windows key plus R. A run box will then appear inside of this type in the command percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again it can be caps or no caps it's up to you then you want to go ahead and find the fortnite game folder by pressing f and as you can see there it's fortnite game what you want to go ahead and do is delete it but before deleting it you can make a backup if you are worried by simply copying and then pasting it in there again and it'll basically make a copy but you can then rename it to like fortnite game one if you want um, just if you want a backup, for most of you, you just won't, so just go ahead and delete it like so. But if you want your backup, it's right there. I myself, I don't need a backup, so I'm going to delete both of them. And then once it's disappeared, what you want to do to get it back and to make it reset is open up the game. So just go ahead and open up the game like so. Then once the game has loaded up, it'll ask you if you want to automatically apply the best settings. You want to go ahead and decline that. And the reason why that's popped up is because with us resetting our config, all of our settings will be reset as well. Skip the intro because that will appear. Skip it again. And to know if your config has has fully reset to know if you've done it right you should see this blue lobby background screen right here and also all of your settings will fully have reset which we're going to go ahead and fix them all right now but first we're going to go ahead and fix that blue lobby screen and we're going to do the fix that fortnite themselves actually recommended because if there's a bug right now where the blue lobby screen will stay there forever unless you do this fix and what it is is if you go into the settings right here straight away and do this before optimizing all these settings you want to go ahead go into the game options and change the language to arabic any language whatsoever just press ok press ok again then go back to english press confirm press confirm again and then if we go back to the settings you'll see the lobby screen has indeed fixed itself and now we can move on to optimizing our in-game settings because we need to make sure all these are good before we customize them more in the config as we'll save over so i myself i'm going to use unlimited but you yourself can match your fps to your monitor's hertz so say if you've got a 360 hertz monitor you would go ahead and use 360 fps in game vice versa but most of you myself included can use unlimited if you want render mode i highly recommend the lowest graphical one which is performance to get the most performance possible all these are personal preference i actually made a video all about brightness all about colorblind mode in this video on screen i'll leave a link to that in the description below and for graphics quality down here you want to make sure it's all on the lowest settings possible either off near low just everything off or oh, these two settings right here high resolution textures these need to be off because it'll actually save you more storage so that's important and then once you guys have fully customized your settings to be exactly what you want them to be go ahead press apply just like so do you want to keep these settings yes then go ahead and close down the game and before opening our config i want to do one more optimization which is going to disable the full screen as what this will do is allow fortnite to run in a full screen exclusive mode which will give you more fps and lower input delay to do that you want to open up your 
your main hard drives and you want to locate the hard drive that has Fortnite installed on it. So mine is the C right here. Inside of this, you want to find your Fortnite folder, just like so. You then want to go into Fortnite game, go into binaries, go into Win64. And then if you scroll down here, you should see about four different EXEs. For all of these guys, you want to do the same process. That's click on one of them, right click, go into properties. And then where it says compatibility right here, you want to make sure that the disable full screen optimizations is ticked. Then you want to go ahead and click on the change high DPI settings. And then inside here, guys, you want to go ahead and tick this box right here and make sure application is selected. Press OK, press apply, press OK again. And you want to do the same process for all of these free right here which i'm going to do right now in high speed and after doing all that right there we have now officially made it so fortnite will launch in a full screen exclusive mode which will benefit you greatly and go ahead close that down now and one more thing before we do customize our game user settings file slash fortnite config is we're going to do one mouse optimization and to do this you want to go on windows go into your search menu mine's at the bottom left if you're on windows 10 windows 11 is very similar you want to type in mouse settings just like so and click the first option inside of the mouse settings you want to find the additional mouse options section right here give that a click then a little mouse properties window will appear you want to go on to pointer options and make sure enhanced pointer precision is actually unchecked if this is checked that means you have mouse acceleration turned on and if you have it unchecked like i highly recommend it means you'll have mouse acceleration turned off which is very important you do not want to use that at all and then once you've done that you can apply press ok and you have optimized your mouse and finally we're going to go ahead and optimize the fortnite config file now to get it up you want to go on your desktop press windows key plus r at the same time Inside of here, type in percentage sign, local, app, data, and then percentage sign again, just like so. Press OK. Then you want to find the Fortnite game folder, which we reset earlier. Click on that. Click on saved. Click on config. Click on Windows client. And then boom, right here is the game user settings file, which we're about to optimize. But first, right click on it. Click on properties. And make sure the read only box is unchecked. It should be for many of you out there, but it's really important. It's unchecked. If so, we can go ahead and right click on it now and edit it. And then inside of this, you want to have a slow scroll through it. And I'll point out any important settings you need to change. So stuff like motion blur, that needs to be false. That's very important. You don't want that on. But it should be already off if you customize your settings before in Fortnite first, like I recommended. When it comes to quality, like global illumination, it'll say 1. Optimize this to 0 on both of them. Reflection quality and illumination quality as well. Make sure they're all on zero, that is super important. Scrolling down, everything looks pretty good and as it should. Scrolling down a little bit more here, I've noticed the resolutions. Now, if you do want a stretched resolution, which I explain why you should use one in this video on screen, I'll leave this video in the description below because it shows you how to change your resolution while also explaining the benefits and the negatives as well. I'll leave that in the description below. Scrolling down a little bit more from that though, we've got our frame rate limit, which in here you can actually manually set up so say if you've got a 240 hertz monitor you can go ahead and match that with 240 fps um, in the config like so but i myself am using an unlimited so i'm going to leave it as that and then scrolling down a little bit more guys we've got the scalability groups and it looks like mine has been optimized properly here resolution 100 and then all the rest should be on zero for the most fps and that right there is basically the entire config file already set up and optimized this season they've took out a lot of settings that don't matter anymore which is great so the optimization is pretty easy as you saw we only had to change about three things but we did a ton more of other optimizations that are very important if this video helped out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton catch us in the next one peace